All right, today I'm going to show you how I clean my Bosch dishwasher. Okay, so you use the dishwasher. Occasionally it builds up with all sorts of debris. I'm gonna show you. And this debris can actually make your dishwasher not clean as well, but a major factor is smell, okay? So if you don't clean it occasionally, you will get it smelling. Now with this cleaning, I'm gonna show you how I clean it, all right? I'm gonna be cleaning this out, getting the debris out of it, as well as using Cascade Platinum Dishwasher Cleaner to clean my dishwasher. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make sure that there are no items in on the racks inside of my dishwasher okay so there's no items on the racks in the dishwasher very important all right so next i'm gonna go, just gonna go in here you can pull out this bottom rack you can take it out and put it to the side if you like to and i'll actually do that just for the sake of the video to show you pull it out put it on the floor and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just check inside of here to make sure that there's no loose debris in there any food that is just sitting in there because if there is i need to take it uh, uh, take it and pull it out, all right? So after I've done that, I'm just gonna go ahead and check down here, all right? I'm gonna check down here, and then there is this filter trap right here. You see how it's lined up right here? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist it that way, all right? That's counterclockwise, all right? So it's no longer lined up. And then when I pull it out, I'm able to pull this out, and then I can check in here, and you see right there, there is some debris, some food debris right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and take what I can with the rag, get that up, and I'm also gonna check down there and see if there's any food, big food. Yeah, there is, this looks like something like an eggshell or something right there, take that out. You wanna remove any chunks that you possibly can. If they're small and in the down there and it's like, they can get flushed out occasionally, but if you can, reach down in there, get the food debris out and take that out. All right, so once you clean that out, what I like to do is I, Go ahead and take this filter and we'll do this next all right i'm going to go ahead and put this in a sink but before i start to clean the filter what i do is i fill a glass of water all right so fill a glass of water and like what i like to do is around the area that i wiped i typically take some water and pour it around there to get any of the small pieces of chunk that i wasn't able to get out with the cloth and let it go down in there and it'll be flushed out during the drain mode. All right, so now that I take that, let me get Deb back to cleaning the filter. All right, so now it's time to clean out the filter that I took out. Now, in order to clean this filter, what I like to do is I come around here, and if you look underneath the filter, there could be gunk and stuff in there. I like to take the filter off, okay? So I'm gonna take the filter off of this, and what I simply do is just pull on this, and it detaches from this main compartment right here. You see that, what I did? I just pulled that and it detaches from the main compartment. I'm just gonna set this down and then I'll also want to remove this part from this metal mesh right here. So what I do is, if you look on here, there are these little buttons right here on either side and you can press this and it will scooch on out, all right? So go ahead and do that. And then once I have this all disassembled, now it's time to clean the filter. As you can see right here, there's food that has been caught up right here, and I want to be able to rinse this off. And there's food on this side. So I just simply take some water and go ahead and rinse all of this off, and it's getting all of the food and debris off of each side. Now it's important that you get this off. Now if you have something stuck in there, you might want to soak this in water for about 10 minutes or so. Submerge it in water, let it soak. If everything's all tried and crusted, then we can soften it up. So I got all of this off, all of the food debris. Make sure you get this clean and thoroughly. And if you want to, if it's really bad, uh, you can take a soft toothbrush, a soft brush or toothbrush, and generally just go around the area where the food is crusted on, and that typically will take it off. All right, so I have all of this. Take that off. Next, I'm gonna come over to this right here. This is uh, the filter right here, actual filter. So if you look in there, you look in there, there's a lot of food debris in there. Now, if this, if so much gets clogged up in here, your dishwasher will not be able to function properly. So you want to clean this off. So what I do is, is take some warm water 
and just I try to go ahead and spray this down with warm water. And generally, if it's not a lot of mess, the food will typically just fall off. You want to make sure you get both sides right here because food can get caught up in this, this area right here. It's both sides. All right, so once you have that, what I typically do is I take the toothbrush, put a little bit of dish detergent on there, and I simply just go around here and simply brush it with a soft, make sure you do it a soft bristled brush. You don't want to damage this because uh, you don't want to have to go ahead and purchase this, this filter uh, if not necessary. All right, so I get the outside and I make sure I get the rim of this right here. Make sure you get the rim of that. Food gets caught in that on both sides. And the most important part, or one of the most important parts, is the inside. You wanna get this and scrub all of that. Now what I do, like sometimes, if it is super calcified, if you have a lot of calcium in your water, what I have done in the past, and I was successful at doing, I don't think they recommend this, but this is what I did. I took a cup of vinegar and soaked, submerged this into vinegar for a few hours, and it was able to dissolve the calcium that had built up on this mesh. Because if it's clogged up right here, water can't flow up through this, and you can end up damaging it, your dishwasher. So I don't have a lot of calcium built up on here. If it's just a little bit, the Cascade Platinum Dishwasher Cleaner, which I'm gonna add later, should be able to get minor deposits of calcium off. So I have this right here. I'm just gonna let this soak. And while that's soaking, I'm just gonna come over here and I'm just gonna try to find some food that's stuck up on here and just brush it. It could be oily from oil that comes inside of your dishwasher. So this dish detergent that I have on the toothbrush should be able to help release that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush this a little bit. All right, there's no food left on here. And then when I'm done, I'm just gonna take the toothbrush, rinse the toothbrush out and take both of these, or take this, and just simply run water over here to flush out any debris that is left on the uh, filter and the filter plate, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and run this right here. And you see there is, if you look closely, there is some food deposits in here. Just scrub a little bit more with the brush. If it's calcium, it should come off with the cleaner. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. All right, so clean that brush off. Clean the filter off. And just simply just keep on brushing or rinsing right here to get all the food debris off, loose debris. A little power wash right here to get that off. All right, power wash on this part right here. And then once all of this is washed off, I'm gonna go ahead, remember this, I'm gonna go ahead and just stick this through. It's gonna sit down in there. And once it's down there, I'm gonna take the filter at either side, all right? And then I'm going to snap it back in place. It snaps back into place, all right? And then I'm going ready to put this back in here. Let's go ahead and put this back in here. So I'm gonna take the filter. Now remember, I'm put, taking the filter down. It's like putting together a puzzle, all right? The short end right here is going towards the rear. I'm just gonna simply press it down here, put it down here, it simply goes here, make sure this is right here so it falls down evenly in there. And once it's in there, just make sure that it's flush down here, the plate is flush, and just simply twist it until it locks into place where the arrows line up. All right, so I have that in place, and I'm gonna take that rack, remember that rack that I had? I'm gonna take that, put it back on here, All right, there it goes. So there's a spoon, take the spoon, take it out, and just simply push it back in there, all right? So that's great. All right, so now let's get to opening the Cascade Platinum Dishwasher Cleaner and put that in there. All right, so here is the Cascade Platinum Dishwasher Cleaner. It helps eliminate lime scale, grease, and odors in your machine. It's gonna get the scent away as well as clear out some of these calcium deposits. Now the directions say simply put one pack in the main dispenser cup and close the dispenser door. Let, the clean, let it do the cleaning. A second pack may be required for machines with heavy buildup, all right? So remember to read the instructions on this for your uh, dishwasher, all right? Uh, it says recommended to use this once a month, every month, all right? 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I'm just going to go ahead and show this right here. Right here. So here is the pack. Right here comes in a nice looking packaging. Go ahead, open it up with my scissors. And go ahead, open it up and pull out the Cascade Platinum pack. And here it is right here. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply follow the instructions for the Cascade Platinum. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and take this, put it in the compartment just like that. You see that? It fits right in the compartment just like regular dishwasher detergent. Close it. And what I tend to do is I tend to go ahead and turn it on. And then I use the heavy mode. All right, because I want this really cleaned well. Okay, so I use the heavy mode and I'm also going to use the sanitize right there just for an additional wash. That's just my what I do. And then I am going to go ahead and start. All right, and I'll show you how it looks when it's done. Close it. Oh, didn't close it well. So press start. Wait for the light to quit going off and close it. And that indicator can, indicates that it's on. All right, so it's done. So time to check on it. Open it up. It's done. Smells fresh, looks clean. It smells really, really nice. It smells really nice because before it's kind of smelled a little sour because it needed to be cleaned out. And we're all good, ready to go. All right, that is how I clean the Bosch dishwasher. Thanks a lot for watching.